Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Swinney. That's right. I'm back from down under here at the New York Stock Exchange on a Monday afternoon. I'm a little bit jet lagged. I don't really know exactly what time it is. I had myself a wonderful business trip, but at the same time, there's only one thing I, I am pretty certain of. At least my body doesn't feel it, but the time says it. It's nearly four o'clock. The market's there about to close. You know exactly what time it is. It's happy hour right here in New York City. Now, U.S. stocks, they continue to trade in a tight range this Monday afternoon as investors, they continue to look ahead to the start of the new earnings season. Now, some of the major companies scheduled to report their results this week include BlackRock, Citigroup, Bank of America, as well as Wells Fargo. Meanwhile, Netflix continuing, that's right, clap, Netflix continuing to hit all-time high levels this after the company managed to raise prices on some of its plans last week. Now, its $10 a month high-definition plan now costs $11, and the 4K streaming plan will cost $14 a month. That marks a $2 increase. Now, those changes, they affect new U.S. members, while existing members will be alerted of the price change October 19th, ahead of their next billing cycle. Moving on, shares of Apple also rising after after analyst at Bank of America Merrill Lynch reiterated its buy rating on the stock, noting that the company's earnings will jump under the Republican plan to lower corporate taxes. And you combine all of this, you have yourself a session right now where the Dow Jones again trading in a tight range to welcome me back to the Big Apple. Let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this session. And with that stated kickback, relax, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. And before I go, I have to say the following. I want to say a big, enormous thank you to everyone down under that made me feel welcome over the past two weeks, whether it was Gus Simpson, Peninsula Energy over in Perth, at the same time in Sydney, swarming drones, Pro Air Vision. Thank you very much. And a big, big shout out, a New York City shout out to the Australian Stock Exchange, the ASX, for letting me go into the building and do several reports, as well as the city of Sydney, allowing me to be in the harbor in front of the Opera House and the Harbor Bridge. Some of those shots you're going to see throughout the week. From out on Wall Street saying, I'm back. I hope you didn't miss me that much. I'm James Swinney. <laughs>